Oh hi, it's Deep Toonster and I'm about to play some more Super Mario RPG. Last time we managed to defeat Kulex and we got the Quartz Charm, which I found out increases your offense and defense by 50% I think it was. And it makes you immune to instant kill attacks. So I don't think that's really worth putting on anybody. Yeah, it actually decreases Mount, or Gino's defense and magic defense. I have no idea what's up with that. So I don't think the zoom shoes increase your defense or anything like that. Anyway, if we want to take on Smithy, we need to train at this dojo, man. Because last time we were able to take on Jinx's apprentice, but now we got to take on the real deal. All right, bring it on. If I could take on Cool X, you're you're just a shrimp, man. Literally, with this guy, he probably reaches up to Gino's knees if he even. Oh, but you can't take him lightly. Oh no. Well, if he attacks Peach, then you can take him lightly. But if he does that, he gets behind Mario and trips him like an asshole. Then you can't take him lightly. Even though he didn't really do that much to us. Oh no, we missed. You're good. But I'm better. I'm better at trying to use a special attack with Peach and never doing it. Even though I probably should have healed our Ma Gino. <laughs> I mean Mario. Jeez, let's get the right character, man. So yeah, we're just gonna knock this guy around a little bit until he gives up. He'll just keep attacking. Oh, jinxed! Of course he has to have an attack named that. Jeez, that was a nice combo too. Let's show him a combo of our own, shall we? This probably doesn't do as much damage as the lazy shell, but I don't care. We missed last time anyway. And we got a good combo going. Every time I say we got a good combo going, which is like every time I use that jump for some reason, that's when I stop getting the combo. Yeah, what am I doing? I should heal. <laughs> I don't know, man. Maybe I'm just underestimating this guy. Well, not really. He's not really that bad at all. I'll show you here. You should go down fairly quickly, but we won't be done quite yet. Oh, jeez. For some reason, I thought that would do a lot more. There he goes. He's gonna... I think that's just his defense going up. So, he should be still pretty good. Yeah, his defense definitely went up there. Didn't even do 100 damage with the lazy shell. Alright, let's finally get people healed up here. Yeah. Alright, Gino. You can do it, man. Yeah, 52 damage. We're, we're getting in the big leagues now. Oh, man. Yeah, that's the instant kill attack. It's a good thing. Why does Mario have that prevents that? Can't remember. Because I definitely don't have the course charm equipped to anybody. I'd have to check that out after this battle. Should be ending soon. He stops triple kicking us all the time. Oh man, he's got some good speed on him. Oh, there we go. Maybe I should have put that quartz charm on Gino. Probably gonna have to do that after this instance. Why am I super jumping? I don't know. Maybe I just wanted to see Mario's. I'm not even gonna finish that one. All right. When he made sense anyway. Oh yeah, like always, gotta bring Gino back. And the good thing is, I, I set it up to where I can hear sound. Like, I was doing that for Super Castlevania 4. Why can't I just do it for this game? Sometimes I just don't think, man. So now getting these timed hits and reviving people and all that is going to be so much easier, man. Ah, uh, it's a miracle. Whoa. Yeah. Took him on. You weren't so tough. Maybe I should run this dojo. Kick you out. Still haven't had enough? It isn't often that I have someone this competitive to spar with. Alright, this match will be the one that counts since I'm placing my reputation on the line. Well, before that, uh, well, we're all healed up, so we're good there. But I do want to get Gino equipped with this here Quartz Charm. Did it increase his offense? It didn't look like it had affected his offense at all. Maybe it just doesn't show the stat increases because it's a little different. It doesn't increase it by a solid value. It actually increases it by a percentage. And he's going to shoot bombs at us. Good thing I defended against that. I wasn't really trying to. I was just randomly hitting the A button. Let's try a Gino Whirl on this guy. We haven't used that in a while. And I actually can hit it now. I can see what I'm doing. Yeah, let's just go with the lazy shell. And not timed hit it so much for being able to get timed hits now. And this time Jinx is not going to hold back, man, but that's still not going to scare me. We can take this guy on. We got people pretty much decked now. Like I said, if you can take on Cool X, you can take on the world. And then some. 
So we'll just wait until he uses his Valor up again, because I'm pretty sure he does do it again. Probably should heal Gino, but that's okay. There he goes. Yeah, not gonna work, buddy. Haha, <laughs> you even missed. That's how bad you were. Alright, he's getting a little bit more serious now. Look at him. We're ten times as serious as he can ever be. Yeah, ten times as serious by missing. Man, Mario. How much did he increase his HP? Or defense, I mean. Alright, so let's let Peach make herself useful. Might be able to do some damage after the... What?! You could actually kill Peach with that, even though she has the armor? I don't have any pick-me-ups, man. Oh yeah, I do. I have one. Jeez. Let's hope I get a freebie here. Yeah. I actually can be able to time to hit those items, too, which will give me a better chance of getting freebies. Which, if Peach died again there, I may have been in trouble. Like that. Mario. Oh. I thought I had something that protected him against that, but I guess not. He must have just got lucky that first time. But we don't have to use any pick-me-ups this time. Should be able to bring him back with full life, too. Like that. Yeah, when you hear that brrrr, that's when you know. I think I mentioned that before, but it's like the first time I'm hearing that in forever. Oh my god. He has like two attacks that do that instant kill. It's just insane, man. It's a good thing we got the Quartz Charm on Gino. It's probably a good idea to do Kulex's fight before this third fight with Jinx, even though I probably consider this fight easier. Oh, now he's going to increase his attack power. He was already beefy as hell. This probably won't end well. Or will it? Just die. Whoa, okay, there we go. Going back to the hundreds. I was going to use a Psych Bomb. I just, I just know it's not going to do jack shit. Like, that did jack shit. But fan, or the Psych Bomb, it wouldn't have done anything. Uh, no. We want to use Comeback. We're going to make a Comeback. I wonder where all these stars are coming from, and how is Peach summoning them? She has the power to communicate with stars? Why does she just gather all the seven stars? Boo. Haha. <laughs> so, I guess it's just random whether or not you die to that or not. Although, I think the last time she died to that was when he used that Quicksilver. I'm not sure what the difference is between those two. There we go. We took him on. We are now the strongest. Whoa. You are the stronger champion, no doubt about it. My reputation was staked on this last fight, so I've lost the title of Sensei. From today, you are the Sensei of this dojo. Yes, I knew we'd take over. Please take this belt, which only the highest ranking fighter in the dojo can wear. And there we go, we got the Jinx belt. We will rename the dojo Mario Style Dojo and incorporate your jump technique into the training. Yeah, Mario's freaking took claim over jumping, man. He has a monopoly on jumping now. But what did he just do? Jagger and I will start our training immediately. 1,000 warm-up jumps. Ready, begin. 1,000? Jeez, that's a little, I don't know, overkill. Anyway, we'll just ignore these fools from now on, because we got the Jinx belt. I can't, I can't remember which is better, though. Oh my gosh, that is definitely better. You know what I'm going to do? <laughs> There you go, Gino. You can get some EXP now, because Mario's going to take advantage of this. Oh, baby. Yeah, that's, that's going to be pretty mean right there. Alright, so you guys just keep jumping. We'll keep... Oh, that's what you did. Haha, <laughs> nice. Nice little M there. Makes a good touch. So yeah, that's pretty much all we had to do here in Monster Town. There's still a couple more things to do here out in the... You know, the world that's not the last level. Okay, I think where I want to go now is to Moleville, actually. So that I can get Peach's best weapon. Which you can get by going over to the item shop. Talking to the mushroom guy here. Good to see you again. I'll show you my inventory. A lucky jewel? No, that's not what we want. Pass on that. A mystery egg? No, that's not what we want, even though it is kind of enticing. There we go. Metal plate. Yeah, baby. Yeah. That's all you've got for now? Oh, yeah. We went through all the items. So, this metal plate turns out to be a frying pan. Yeah. Can't get more hilarious than that. Bashing people with a frying pan. Now she's the ultimate housewife. Eh, not much to really talk about to these other guys. Actually, I think... Is she the one who sells you... Oh. 
shiny stone. I'll trade you my carbo cookie. Well, I don't think we really have much use for it anymore. There we go. What does this do? I don't give you descriptions. Oh, yeah, they do give you descriptions for regular items. Kids love them. <laughs> wow. It's like that freaking tagline for Toonami back in the day. Hmm? Is this the lady? <gasps> you have a carbo cookie. I'm so hungry. May I have it, please? Okay, well, this is like some weird chain quest. I am not doing this intentionally at all. I had no idea that you could do this. Or maybe I do. I just... Green. Oops, I must have dropped it. Sorry about that. Come back later and I'll find another one. That bug gets my seat, so don't take it, okay? Well, I'll take your seat any day of the week. I'm Mario. I can do anything I want. It doesn't look like it really does anything useful, though. Whoa, whoa. So if you go down it like a pipe... What? Holy crap. So I guess we get some kind of shortcut to Midas River. Huh? Yeah, I know. I don't want to crash course on it. This is crazy. I had no idea there was like a shortcut there. Funny the things you find when you're not even trying. Anyway, you guys have seen this before. It's probably just the same course. I'll meet you guys back in Moleville. Jeez. Trying to go to Moleville to get some shopping done and I wind up rolling down a river. Anyway, I'll see you guys back there. Alright, so after traveling halfway across the world for some reason, we're finally back here in Moleville. And it's weird because after I finished the Midas River course, there was just a note there. You didn't have the blue mushroom guy there uh, telling you, you know, how many coins you got and all that. He just says, take your coins, we're closed for the day. So, yeah, I guess that's a, I don't know, not really an easy way to make money. We could just go back to Bowser's Keep and use that golden box. Anyway, the real reason I came here, well, not really. There were two things I got to do, that's what I'm trying to say. Up to the per ten store. Wait, I already got the shiny stone. That's not what I want. I'm looking for someone who's selling fireworks. I know she's nearby. I just know it. Is this her? Nope. I'll find you. I swear it. I think she's outside, though, in, like, one of those little shops. Is this her? Nope. She's just telling us the freaking... I don't know, not even a real song. She's just, I don't know, being stupid like all children are. Yeah, I'm just kidding. I love kids. You're not the little girl I'm looking for. I thought it was a little girl. She must be over on this side of town. Like in this house here. Wait, I already look in here. Or did I? No. Is this the guy? Yeah, this is it. It's a guy. So before I start buying that, what I'm doing is he sells fireworks to you. I could have just bought one. I don't know why I hesitated there. Yep. So it gives you fireworks, and really there's no like value to getting those, except for at the very end of the game, after you've pretty much beaten the game, but you'll see then, you probably almost guess what it is. Uh, you want to try to buy more than one if you want to get that little special treat. I think I'm going to actually buy four just to be safe. They do cost 500 coins each, so I'm probably going to have to sell some stuff. Anyway, this probably won't be the most entertaining thing to watch, so I'll see you guys after I get all my fireworks. Oh, I actually ran out of fireworks? I thought you could buy more than one at a time. It has to be that you can buy more than one at a time. Let me go back in here real quick and see. Because I have the money. Just shut up and take my money, man. Alright. No! Wow! Huh! I thought you could buy them all at once. Um... Maybe I'm forgetting exactly how it works. Oh well, we'll find out later. I'll look it up sometime. Anyway, oh, there is one more place I want to go before we head back to the final area. And that is here at Tadpole Pond. Go to Melody Bay and enter the last song. Because I think once we get the card that you get from doing that, you can buy Kero Kero Colas. And those are really, really useful. Those would just help us fly through to the end. So I think the song goes something like this. If you want to find it normally, you'd go to Monster Town, and there's like this little star- Nope, that's not it. Psh. Anyway, if you want to find the actual song, then you go to Monster Town, and there's a starfish in one of the houses. And um, he'll kind of do a little dance and play these tones while it's making its movements. And you have to actually kind of guess what the notes are. Well, if you know music, then you probably don't have to guess. You probably know, but you just kind of take those tones by ear and play them here at Melody Bay and that's the next song the final song to be perfectly specific alright so it goes three more half steps up I 
think I did the right thing. <laughs> no, 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 no. I think I did a note too many. Jeez. Oh well, we'll find out. Oh, maybe. I think this is it. Two, three, one. Nope. Uh, that uh, fourth to last note was the wrong one. So we'll get this again. There we go. Let's hear that tune. Do, 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 do. Yes. Perfect. Music to my ears. That's it. This is the melody I've been looking for. Thank you for the inspiration. Yes, for the third time. Soprano card. Yeah. Finally, my song is nearly complete. But I must confess that you contributed a lot to it. Well, yeah, I contributed all to it. We can all take credit for it. No, I'm taking credit for it. You have to pay me royalties. Now you must think of a final phrase that will wrap it all up. Let your creative juices flow and show me what you got. Oh, no. Um. Okay. I'm not really a musician, but I'll, I'll, I'll try to whip something up. Um. Let's start low. And work our way up. Yeah. And then we'll go down. This is the most random song I could think of. It's probably not even a song. It probably sounds horrible. Like cats fighting or something. Psh, I don't know. I guess. Okay, here we go. Listen to this. It's our song. No, it's my song. How many times do I have to tell you? Okay. I'm liking this. Oh, nice. <gasps> Was that really what I wrote at the end there? That didn't sound that bad when you put all that, like, harmony behind it. Jeez. Well, what's going on? So what do you think? Uh, well, I don't really want to hear any more of that. I'm going to take my card and get the hell out of here. I'm going to see what we can buy, because that's all music is about, money. Yeah, probably not. Mm, I think they're over here. Hopefully I didn't go to the wrong place. Is this guy? Yeah, there we go. So? Oh, yes, he does have Keto Keto Colas. Alright, man. And Mega Elixirs. But really, Keto Keto Colas are where it's at. How many do I have? I want to sell... You guys are going away. Because <laughs> we are... Getting four more of these babies. Yeah. What's that? No more. Well, I kind of just use all the money I wanted to use to buy fireworks, but who cares? I'm rolling in it, man. We have that unlimited supply back at Bowser's Castle. So it all works out. <gasps> there is one more thing I want to do, though. I just remembered this. It's really not anything big. But remember that kid that was always playing his Game Boy over at the end? Well, it seems like he's finally finished his big LP. He's finally mastered the game. Wait, hold on. This is the highest score. What? 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 Why is there so many things that I thought would happen? <laughs> Sorry for that many watts, by the way. Why are so many things that I thought would happen, like, at this point in the game, just not happening? Maybe you have to actually beat the game before all that opens up? I don't know. I'm, I have a lot of research to do, that's for sure. But now we've got everything I wanted to do out of the way there in the overworld. It's time to go straight to Smithy. Smithy or bust. Yes, bring it on. We'll start our journey next time. I'll see you guys then. Thank you for watching.